cover it up. What happened here? Oh my God, are you okay? I don't know. I I went up to the mansion to bring James his art supplies, and Phyllis was here cleaning like she does every day. When I came back, I, I found her lying on the floor. I, I thought she was unconscious, so I, I checked for a pulse. And when I couldn't find one, I called nine one one, and then you. I can't believe this. I, I've known her for years, and now she's dead. Yeah. As best as I can tell, though, she's been dead less than an hour. The body temperature just dropped. Have you determined the cause of death yet? Strangulation, which called asphyxiation. See these bruises around the throat? Great force was used. At a guess, I'd say the cell was male. What's that? John? Wrap a paper with ink smudge. We'll check it under the microscope, see if it's anything. She put up a fight? No. No sign of defensive struggle. Sounds like she was surprised by someone she knew. Mm. Someone she was used to seeing around here. Someone she thought was safe. So chances are you know the murderer too. Where's Chris? What difference does it make where Chris is? You are my passion for life. Sheridan, I need to talk to Chris right away. Chris wouldn't know anything about this. He was working in the garden that I planted with James. <clears throat> While Phyllis was working here in the cottage, all right, there's no way that Chris could have seen or heard anything. Well, fine. But maybe he saw something or someone that could help identify the killer. Look, the garden is a good walk from here. I'm telling you, there is no way that Chris could have heard or seen anything. And if he did, he would have helped Phyllis. There is no way that Chris is a suspect. Sure. Come on. You are not that naive, okay? Chris was in close proximity to Phyllis when she died. She knew him. He is a male and he is strong. In fact, he's a perfect match to the medical examiner's killer. Chris knows nothing about this. Okay. Well, then by any chance, did you happen to see someone else this morning? Another male on the grounds who knows Phyllis? No, I mean... There are, are gardeners, there are staff members, there, there are dozens of people who come around here. We'll see. So, um, <clears throat> where is this garden? Because I need to question Chris right away. Why? What's going on in here? Don't! Cross the tape. What is going on in here? Who is that under there? Chris. It's Phyllis. She's dead. Murder. Oh my God. I, I was just talking to her a few minutes ago. Were you? So was I. This is insane. I was just up at the mansion seeing James, and when I came back, I found her on the floor. I thought she was unconscious, so I checked for a pulse, and when I couldn't find one, I called 911. What happened to her? Well, actually, I was hoping that you could tell us that. Now, what 
kind of a question is that? God, Rufus. How dare you, Luis? How dare I? I'm a cop, Sheridan, and from what I've heard, Chris is the last person to have seen Phyllis alive. Well, how exactly was Phyllis murdered? She was strangled. Do you mind explaining to me, then, how you got these cuts on your hand? Back off, Luis. What happened to your hands, Chris? Huh? They're a mess. Of course they are. I was in the garden. I was clearing James and Sheridan's garden, and then I cleared up some brush. Some brush? Yeah. They have gardeners for that, you know? Yeah, well, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Anyway, I had some pumpkins that I wanted to harvest before Halloween. Is that a crime? I don't see any pumpkins. Yeah, that's because I left them in the garage, so that when James and Sheridan cut them, they won't make a mess in here. Okay? Uh -huh. Dirty hands, hard work. They go together. And these scratches I got from the underbrush. If you think Chris got the scratches on his hands from strangling Phyllis, remember the examiner said that there was no indication that she put up a fight so why would the murderer have scratches on his hands he also said that whoever attacked phyllis knew her certainly chris knew her didn't he my husband did not kill phyllis all right fine so i'll calm down and just start thinking rationally i am here. not the one who is losing his mind so you say you knew phyllis pretty well huh you know if she had any enemies anyone who wanted to kill her she was a lovely woman and a wonderful mother. She was a bit of a gossip, but people don't get murdered for that. You said she was raising a child all alone. Is there some ex-husband we should be checking out? No. She was widowed for years. That's why she had to work here to support her boy. God, what a well, Maybe there's some angry boyfriend you don't know about. I don't think so. Check it out. Louise. We're all done. Can you move the body? Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. What's that? I'm sorry. I meant to point it out, but then the sheet covered it and I forgot. It hasn't been moved. It was right there by the body when I came in. Thanks. I'll have the autopsy report to you as soon as I can. Anybody recognize his pen? Yeah, that's my pen. I must have dropped it. Hmm. Bag it. Could be evidence for murder. I would check for fingerprints. Well, that's just stupid. Of course it's going to have my fingerprints on it. It's my pen. Yeah, so how exactly did such a nice pen end up on the floor? I don't know. I, I used it to make some notes earlier. I put it down on the table. It probably rolled off onto the floor. Hmm. Mind if we have a look around, Sheridan? Of course not. Go right ahead. Right, Chris? Sure. I haven't got nothing to hide. And we want to find who did this to poor fellas. Good. Fancy, come on, let's start outside. Oh, and... Don't go under the tape. As you know, it's a crime scene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't believe this. Trouble just seems to follow me around like a dark cloud. Hey, come on, Sheridan. It's not your fault. I'm nervous that he's asking you those questions. It doesn't worry me. He's just trying to do his job. You're so cold. I'm going to make you a cup of hot cocoa to warm you up. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Sharon. Please. You have nothing to be sorry about. 